Hello, my name's Terry. My call sign all four Papa Oscar Papa G4 P O P, and this tutorial is about how we change the columns which are displayed in Logflow M, and things to, related to the grids. So first of all, let's try in the recent QSO window. And this set of columns here. This is a grid, and uh, <coughs> this is what we're going to show you applies to many other grids in Logflow M. You'll notice the first column is the QSO date, which is the start date and time. But there is no end date or time. You might wish to add that column. At the top of the grid, there are the title fields. So QSO date, call sign, country, RSD, band, etc. If you right click on any one of those titles, it will bring up a menu. The edit table layout is the one you want. Here you will find every one of the columns available to you displayed and they will either be checked or unchecked according to if they are displayed or not. And there you will see the QSO end date is unchecked. So first of all we will check that. The action of clicking the red button will actually save and display that. So now you find you have an extra column displayed. It may be, for instance, that you don't like the position of that column and you want the end date before the start date or it could be you want the call sign the other side of that and you can move them by clicking and holding down the left key on your mouse on the title then dragging the field along so you watch the blue line to the left of the cursor when you release the button on your mouse magically the call sign field column has been dragged across one position similarly I can drag it back the other way if I desire and put it where I want. I might want it right down there. These are all things that can be done by the user. We'll put it back where it was. Now then it may be you don't like QSO date and QSO end date. You might for instance want to say QSO start date or just start date. Okay, click right click on the field edit table and let's take the QSO date one there it is now let's suppose him you want to make that into QSO start date if you click on it to highlight it and then click on it once more you will see it's in edit mode now if you position your cursor where you wish to put it extra information in you can type in what you want or you can do away with it altogether and call it something entirely different. Once having edited that particular heading click somewhere in the white area to set it and you'll see that's now set it's no longer highlighted. When you close the window it will save that and if you look that first column has now been renamed QSO start date as same as the QSO end date. Additionally it may be that you're poorly sighted in which case you might wish to open a grid configuration and decide to make the font bigger. You'll see the font size changing. Or you might want to change the, the colour. Now there are two different things here. There's the normal row and the row that's been selected. So this is the one row which you can see is in white and the, sorry, in grey and the other row is in white, so alternate rows are white and grey, white and grey, white and grey. So in the normal row, you might want to change the background colour to something different. Let's change it to yellow and see what happens. If you might want to change in the alternate rows, you might want the uh, the foreground uh, colour to be, uh, should we say red? So the text will now be red and it could be that uh, perhaps you want all of the rows with the background yellow quite simple to change it to your personal desires so there's something that uh, you can design yourself you can have it as garish or as nondescript as you wish and uh, design your own colours I prefer the standard colours personally, but uh, it's uh, a matter of choice and something 
you can do it yourself. There we are. So I'm back to normal now. So you can change the size of the font, the colours of the background, the colours of the font. And when it says selected row, it means the row that you've selected with your cursor. So you see the blue row highlighting is changing as I click on a different one. Bear in mind that this applies to all of the windows except for some of the award windows uh, where they're not uh, possible to change them. But uh, certainly the cluster and the uh, recent QSOs and things like that, very very simple to change and rearrange and delete or add as you wish. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it of use. Uh, more videos to follow.